Hi, and thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and consider other important aspects of running a small business, being self-employed, working for yourself. So as part of our bite-sized series of demo videos to help you use your free agent software, today I'm going to be looking at accounting for personal money in and out of your business account. Now, in terms of what we're looking at today, um, it's the same, um, the same principle, the same um, actions that you would take in your free agent software, um, regardless of whether you're a sole trader or a um, or a director of a limited um, company. Um, so you will um, remember from other other videos that we've talked about that um, personal money in or out is nothing to do with your profit and loss. So of course, um, fundamentally, regardless of whether you're a limited company or a sole trader, you will be taxed on your profit from your business activities. So therefore your sales, your income, your turnover, less your expenditure, your purchases, um, your overheads, all um, different different words meaning the same thing um, you take the income and you take off the expenses and that leaves you your profit roughly speaking of course there's other, other things to consider and um, which we shan't go into now so of course um, any money in or out that's personal perhaps you've um, used your personal your business bank account um, instead of your personal one or for other reasons that you've used that account for personal transactions or perhaps you've had to put some money into the account, then those transactions, regardless, don't um, form part of your um, profit and loss. Um, again, regardless of whether you're a sole trader or a limited company. But of course, we still need to account for them in the software because if we skip transactions, we don't allocate every transaction. Um, if we have a bank feed or if we don't add every transaction, if we are doing manual reconciliation, then of course your bank won't reconcile. And as we know, it's really important that we do reconcile our, um, our bank accounts in our software to our bank statement. So it's important that we allocate these personal monies in or out. And um, so what I'm going to do is just um, pop into the software and show you what you will need to do. So here I am in the demo version of the free agent um, software. And just to make it a little bit more straightforward, I am going to um, just add a manual um, transaction because I just need to show you um, the, the, the screen. And of course it would be the same in a bank feed allocation. Um, so I'm going to be, um, showing you how to account for some money out of your bank account that is for personal, um, for some sort of personal reason. So we're we gonna select um, money paid to user. We notice this is under the option of money out. I'm gonna put the date and the value as normal. And um, the um, demo, the demo version is pre-populated with some fictional employees, so that um, you would see your own name here, or if you have um, several um, people, you would select the right person. And now we want to say the reason. So, um, as this is a limited company in the um, demo account, and we're going to have the options that are relevant to that. So it's either going to be going to the director's loan, direct to a dividend, paying back some expenses, um, a benefit in kind, or for, um, for your um, salary that goes through the payroll. So you would choose um, an option. Now, uh, although this, um, this account is geared up towards um, a limited company, it's set up as a limited company, if you are a sole trader, you will, um, you will see less options because, of course, you don't have dividends or salary um, as a, as a um, sole trader. You would see drawings, um, and that is the option that you would choose. And then you put your description in and save that. And so you will see the same options on your bank feed if you have a bank feed. Um, now, if you're putting money in, we're going to um, choose money received from user 
And again, we're going to have um, the different options that are relevant. Now, um, so that is how you account. So it's quite straightforward when you know um, how to do that. But let's just say, for example, if you come to, um, to, to add a transaction and you find that you haven't got the option money, um, money to user, money in or out from user. Now, um, there's a simple reason why that would be. And it is um, basically because the account is likely marked as a personal account. So that is no problem. We just go back to the um, bank account, edit details, and this takes us to the main detail set up for this bank account. And you can see here, this is a personal account. If we uncheck the, um, uncheck the button, so we're now telling it's not a personal account, then and we can see now there are our options um, that we were wanting to achieve. So hopefully you, you already understand the importance of accounting for personal money in and out of the bank account because we need to account for all of the transactions. And now you can see how you do that in your free agent software. And uh, if the option isn't there, then you can see that that just means that the account's been marked as a personal account. And if you unselect that, um, then that option um, will, will be there. So hopefully this helps you and thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Goodbye.